Yeah, it's an easy song to play. Goes like uh so you just gotta You gotta get cut that note short. Let that one ring say a little bit longer. So you're gonna do that. So you go and you're only gonna do it in between the melody bits, so you're gonna go from the uh, uh, from the from the fourth fret to the fifth and then to the seventh so when you do that you're gonna only when you play the melody part you're only gonna hit the two strings on the outside so. and then when you go this is to keep the rhythm so you're gonna go and you do the rhythm again with just the two strings When you do that, you put these two fingers together so that they both become accurate. If you hit this string finger, the string with this finger, the second string, and these two fingers together, then you this finger will always hit that bottom string. So you make just a two a claw, two pins of claws. So, so you go from that to so you're gonna go. three so you're gonna put those dup and dup in between each thing and then and so in those positions are from the second fret to the third and when you do this you're gonna slide up, up on this uh, second string you're gonna go just hit it before the second fret like it's on the first fret almost and then slide it up to, to the third and pull it off just before you hit the third so you go And 
that's pretty much the whole song. So it's actually a very easy song. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I run through. You've got to move. You've got to move. You've got to move, child. You've got to move. But when you So you'll find that this is a very good song to learn this kind of um, this this uh, rhythm. You can play this the same song on a six string, and you pretty much do the same thing. Except you open your hand a little bit wider, and you can hit a few other strings. You play the same song in the same way. Um, yeah, so I chose that song because it'll be an easy one for you to start practicing that offbeat rhythm. That you know. You have to practice the left hand muting technique and that left hand muting technique works best if you've got three fingers on the side uh, any free finger to so you can do it you can do it if you you can do it like this if you want it if you're playing with your with your slide on that finger you can play it like this I prefer to do this because I still play uh, the bass lines and stuff like this with my other finger so so this actually works quite well on this finger um, for the song, but yeah, you could probably play it on any. You could play it on any finger. So so you can also mute like mute like that if you wanted to do it that way. But also it helps. So this is a six string slide, um, and it's heavier than normal. And I shouldn't be playing this song with this slide uh, because these are light gauge strings on a cigar box guitar and they don't require much pressing. And um, it makes it a lot easier to, to knock. But the problem is uh, with cigar box guitars, you want to try to use a smaller slide. This is for a six string, which I make. But I've got, I've got a big box here. As you can see, full of slides. So let's just grab me a little slide. There's my slides, you see. No shortage there. These ones, these ones are lighter and good for uh, for a six string. I mean, so good for a six string and also for a cigar box guitar. But yeah, cigar box guitars prefer a slightly smaller slide. Uh, because the gauges on the strings are less, so yeah. So you'll get much less knocking off uh, a smaller slide on a on a um, cigar box guitar. Mm -hmm. 